Hello guys, welcome in Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial, we will learn to create the error and warning dialog. And guys, let's get you started. So, right now you can see on this screen, uh, we have a error dialog on the left hand side and we have the warning dialog on right hand side. So, the components are uh, similar, only the type of the dialog is different. So, I will tell you how to create both with the help of uh, one example so we are going inside the netbeans id there we will see the how we can create it so guys this is the netbeans id and uh, this is the fxml based project you can see on the left hand side under this uh, projects tab and i have this uh, one fxml and on this fxml we have one button on the click of this button uh, we will call this method and there we will create this warning dialog it's very simple as i have uh, described in my previous video to get the stage object we are using this line and uh, this is the fx id of the anchor pan which is used here inside the fxml you can see this is the base pan with the help of this fx id we are getting the stage object right here and guys we have to create the reference variable for the type and because we have to set the type right here we so right here we are creating the warning type so using the alert type class and we are using these constant so this is the ready-made dialog type so we have just selected the warning and uh, after that we have created the one object of uh, alert class and we have just passed here inside the constructor after that we are using this method set modality init modality method to set the modality with the help of modality dot application model and uh, here alert dot init owner so we have just passed this stage object so this alert will display on this stage and guys uh, for uh, further settings like uh, if you want to change the content text you want to add more content text then you have to use this method set content text okay and if you want to set some header text so you have to use this method alert dot get dialog pan and then you can set the header text after that you have to call this method alert dot show and wait to display the dialog on this stage so guys this is the way you can create the warning dialog and if you want to create the error dialog so simply you have to go here and change the alert type like uh, you can now change this to error and just save it and i'm going to run and i will show you in both cases uh, warning and error so only the symbol only the icon that will uh, represent the warning dialog and the error dialog will be changed if you change the type here okay right now this is set to error then we will see the different kind of dialog which has the same text header text but the icon on that dialog is different i'm going to run this you can see okay guys this is the main stage i'm going to click and you will see so in the error dialog you will see this cross message that is saying that something is uh, wrong okay if i will change this to warning at this place so the image on that dialog will be changed So I have done the changes so I'm taking the clean and build right now after that I will run this okay it's done and I'm going to run this here we go this is the main stage and this is my button I'm going to click and you will see this is the warning sign on this dialog so guys this is the way you can create warning and error dialog programmatically in your JavaFX application you can use this code in your application as well and guys uh, please like this video and share with your friends and uh, i hope uh, all these concepts are clear to you and guys please 
subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon if you want the latest video updates from my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help